without thinking. But he will never stop believing. That's a good sign, isn't it? Is he getting better? In the recovery of his brother. But you gotta lose this guilt trip, huh? Rick Schroeder, James Farentino. He's got a chance of life because of you. Well, he's going to get better. Can a family conquer the odds when they're miles from nowhere? Next. Sure. Certified junk mail. John, it's to Frank. There are a lot of big time scouts at that tournament. Holy Cross, Boston College. Dumb ox for a party. We're gonna celebrate tonight. Hey, come on, come on. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Your favorite, and not mashed potatoes either. Roasted. Oh. Looks great, hey, Mom. What's the special occasion? School. Well, yeah. What'd you do, Em? Finally get an A in math? <laughs> Not his school. Oh, yeah. Yours? Yours. What the caboose means is... to your new school, Boston College. Well, <laughs> The first in the family to go to a real four-year college. <laughs> so proud of you. But... A wrestling scholarship. I thought they'd give it to you in baseball. But wrestling's okay. But how? I didn't even apply. You don't have to when you're a star. Your mother and I have been working on your application. It came this morning. Your father thought it best to open it. My mail. Now, of course, you're going to have to get your community college grades verified with an official uh, transcript. But 
Near as we could tell. According to the coach and the dean, man, you're in like Flynn. Like it, son? No. Uh. Yeah. Well, here's to Frank Riley, doctor, lawyer, stockbroker, whatever you want to be. You just wrote your own ticket, son. We're not a traffic cop. <laughs> oh, come on, Emmett. Let's hear a toast from you. And after all, you've got to follow in his footsteps, so make it a good one. I, uh... <clears throat> My wish is that we're all happy. That's it? <laughs> of course we're happy. Your mother. Oh. Well... Uh... I thank God for my entire family. Frank, Emmett, Patrick, and your brother Bill, who's in Philadelphia, and your sister Susan in New York. But right now, Lord, I thank you for what's happened to Frank, and I pray that this blessing... Barbara, this is supposed to be a party, not a devotional. Come on! But I am thankful. Well, of course you're thankful. I'm thankful. Frank's thankful. We didn't say you shouldn't be thankful, did we? I uh, actually didn't hear anybody ask me. What? The dinner looks great, Mom, but I've just gotten a headache all of a sudden. And, Dad, I can't drink. I've got a term paper to get in tomorrow. Talk. Sure. What about? Continuing on with college. <sighs> this guy's a living, huh? Yeah, well, I want to keep my feet on the ground for a while. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look, I need a breather, Dad. I mean, I want to go away, maybe travel. I wish I could help. Uh, you know, that scholarship's only gonna cover so much of the expenses. Uh, I mean, you're still gonna have to go to work this summer. Same as every other. I'm talking beyond summer. I'm talking about... I don't know. Maybe joining the Merchant Marines or something. Not get a degree? I've got enough school. You don't need to go to school to learn. Now I want to get out and live life a little. Yeah. You know what you learn in the real world? You learn about work. You learn about not having enough money. How to say yes, sir, no, ma'am. And I'm sorry your pukey-looking carpet isn't the exact same vomit color that you picked out. So what are you getting on my case for? What do you mean not finishing school? I don't see myself working for a big corporation, Dad. With a corner office and a button-down shirt and two Volvos in the driveway. That's like a dead-end street for me. Oh, jeez. Look, it's not that I don't want to get ahead. Maybe someday I'll run my own business. What in God's name does the Merchant Marines have to do with business? You just don't understand. You got that right. What the hell kind of business are you talking about that don't need college? Like having a tavern or running my own fishing boat. Here we go, back to the sea again. You ever talk to those guys? You couldn't cut it because it's tough and it's lonely. And you've had it too soft at home to know the difference. Hey! 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 I'm talking to you! Down. Yeah, toss the hole. started calling you dumb ox like he does at home. Wonderful. You enjoy it? No. 
know, Frank. I didn't enjoy it, all right? I know how you feel. It scares me. Nothing scary about a load of crap, Em. Now, when your turn comes, you just wade through it. You know, Mom thinks that both of you ought to see Father Harney. I mean, maybe he can, uh... Well, I don't know. Mom thinks he can... Walk on water? Talk to the animals? <laughs> Get me to go to Boston College? Oh, come on, Frank. You shouldn't talk that way. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 Frank. 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 <laughs> all right, all right. I just don't think it's right to have a big fight about it, that's all. Who's fighting? Listen, when the term ends, I'm out of here. This morning, huh? Sure. Come on out of your way? Nah. I'm ready to go now. I'll go get my books. Uh, go boost maybe tomorrow, huh? I don't want to talk to the big guy. Dad, you wanted to talk? Just to see how things are going. I'm going great, Dad. Great. Now, open it next week. Yeah, Thursday. I'm taking the afternoon off. Oh, no, Dad, you don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. I'm declaring an official holiday. Mom's packing a picnic. I may not even get off the bench. It doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter, Emmett. You work hard. You get off the bench, you go all the way to the top. Dad, look, I'm not f Frank, all right? I'm not Frank. Frank Schmank. What's he got to do with it? And why do you always stutter when his name comes up? Hmm? I don't stutter that much. You don't stutter at all, and you are going to the top because of who you are. Riley, you got it? I don't know. Well, I know. Because I'm a Riley, too. Mwah. You have a good day. Guys, a palooka! Get him out of there! Replace him! You're embarrassing him, Dad. How can I? He's already an embarrassment! It's Emmett who's embarrassed. I'd be embarrassed too if I were on a team like this. You know, you're not going to embarrass the coach into placing Emmett on the field. What do you know about embarrassment? I know plenty. Would you please try to enjoy the game? Riley, second base. Yo, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go, 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 go get him! Go get him, Slugger! You can do it! Oh, talk about me. What about you? Why? Oh, talk about putting pressure. Yeah. Hey, good game, guys. It's all right if I take him and run a good game. Terrific game. It's okay? Oh. Hey, well done, bro. You really think so? Well, okay, I'm a little biased. Oh, heck, he's the best, you best. The best. No biased about it. I talked to the bus driver. He could drive home with us. Uh, I don't know. Are you staying for the picnic? 
Well, I like you, but not enough to eat soggy sandwiches. I'm hot. It's not gonna rain. That's your problem. You don't think positively. What do you say, sport? I don't know. I mean, maybe I should ride home with the team. Sure. I understand. Where are you going? Crazy. I don't know why. Want to come? Really? Sure, why not? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Your mother wanted to go to the market. I don't have the time, so here's the list. And here's some money. And you. You get home early. It's a school night. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I got it, I got it. Ooh. Get some bananas, we're out of here. All right. Let's go. Well, why do you think Dad got so mad at me? Since when did he ever need an excuse? All right. Thank hey, Scoop. How's it going? Good news. How you doing? Not too bad. You're having a party. You coming? Ah, uh, I can't. Got a babysit. Big deal. Bring the key. Oh, sure. Fun for all. It's going to be a killer party, man. You don't want to miss this. Favorite. You know, Newt and I, we want to go to a party tonight. I'm sorry you can't. Hey, what did I say? Nothing. What you Nothing, all right? I'm just sick and tired of all the junk rolling down the hill and me catching it. All right? That's all. When stuff for them, you can walk home. Uh... Hey, uh, my stupid kid brother, he's throwing a temper tantrum. Come on, Frank. What you your brother, man? Hey, man. Thanks a lot. See you around. All right. All right. I'll, I'll do it. Just, just give me the keys, all right? All right. Where's Ma? She's at the hospital. It's Emmett. <laughs> There's been a car wreck. And they don't think he's gonna live. Oh, God. Where's Emmett? <gasps> hey, where's Emmett? surgery a couple of hours ago, but he's still... Frank! I have you, to Frank, come back here! Frank! Wow. 
How did we discover the secret taste of Kellogg's Mueslicks? We searched Europe. Mr. Riley, you must get tired of me telling you, but the regulations do say just one person, only five minutes every hour. His heartbeat isn't as faint as last night, and his breathing is less erratic. We've been able to control the uh, cranial pressure with barbiturates, but the latest EEG looks... Uh, the brainwave patterns, are, they show very little activity. Because he's in a coma, which is good, because that's the only way he could survive the pain and trauma of the accident, right? That's what the other doctor told us. Yes, but there is a downside. Because his body is so helpless, he's very susceptible to staph infection, fever, pneumonia. Yeah, but you have antibiotics. We could probably keep him alive for a very long time. But you might consider how heroic you want us to be. No. What are you telling us? It's right here. The medulla oblongata, the brain stem. As near as we can tell, this is where the majority of the damage is. And neurologically speaking, it's a really bad place to be hurt. There's no easy way to tell anyone this. But to some extent, the whole brain has suffered damage. Centers of speech, sight, hearing, abstract reasoning, intuitive thought. So a fair approximation right now is that, uh, well, first, there's no guarantee that he'll ever come out of the coma. And even if he does, he probably won't be able to walk or talk or even uh, carry on a normal life. We'll have to pray for a miracle, that's all. Vegetables, what they're saying, huh? I'm sorry, man. This has got to be rough on you. What the hell's so rough about going to a party? Yeah, we ought to be glad Frankie wasn't in the car, too, huh? You all right? I mean, you want to blame somebody. Let's blame the kids in the other car. Wrong side of the road, drunk. It's enough, Bill. We ought to sue them. How do you sue dead boys? Why didn't you answer the phone? Hello? Yes, who's he? Oh, yes, I, I, I can. Yeah, I'll be there right away. Thank you very much for the casserole. Well, anything I can do to help, dear, you know that. And I'm crossing thumbs that M leads a productive, happy life. I just hope he makes it. Oh, now, come on, Susan, you have to think more positive. You know, dear, I saw this program on TV about picturing things in your mind. Visualization, it's called. Like, you see M as a, as a, a piano player or something. M doesn't play piano. <laughs> what I mean is things change. Like, maybe M can't be a great athlete anymore, but he can be a whatever. Whatever you see. You see? No, we don't see. When M comes home, he's coming through that door the same as before. You got it? I think she meant well. Yeah, the whole world means well, Susan. Look, I, I have to go to the wrecking yard. Um, can I borrow your car? Can you yeah, now there's something I can do. Oh, that'd be great, because I want to relieve Mom at the hospital, so... I want to go to the hospital. I want to see Emmett. Um... He's asleep, hon. Hey, <clears throat> coma. This is family. Let's call it like it is. Besides, you got to be 16 anyway. 
Why don't you come with us? Is Emmett gonna wake up? We're all praying that he wakes up real soon. Okay? sure things were taken care of. My boy, Frank, Patrick, Bill. <laughs> Read right about what happened, but what happened? Accident. Yeah. Every time I drive, I think half the road's full of drunks. I never figure they're gonna hit me come to work and see something like this. You just never know, do you? Look, uh, I could take it off your hands, give you a few bucks. I don't want a few bucks. No, I'll be lucky just to get scrap. Fifty's the best I can do. I don't want anything. Hey, come on. Frank, look, you gotta lose this guilt trip, huh? Like Mom says, the world's full of accidents. Look at me. Tell you what. I could uh, throw in the parking fee. I don't care what you do! He didn't mean that, did he, Dad? Who knows what he means? Hey, mister. What does the other car look like? Worse. Makes a believer out of you, don't it? How? By all rights, poor Emmett should have been killed. Come on, Patrick. Who are you? Brother. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not going to ask you to leave. Hey, go talk to your supervisor. She's tired of throwing me out, all right? Who are you? Filling in for med search. Look, my name's Frank. How's he doing? Uh, sir, I need to clear the patient's lungs. Would you mind stepping outside for a minute? His name is Emmett. Mine's Frank. I've seen worse done. eyes are open. Oh Emmett. Emmett, can you hear me? Can you see me? Well, that's a good sign, isn't it? Is he getting better? Lots of them open their eyes. It's a common reflex response for patients like your brother. I'll report it to the doctor. Sorry. What for? For Emmett. For thinking of him as just a patient. It's a defense mechanism to make the job easier. Well, he's going to get better. You don't have to believe me. Maybe nobody else believes me either, but he's going to get better. My name's Teresa.
Do you, Anita, take this man, Edward, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. And do you, Edward, take Anita to be your lawful wife? I don't know, Father. That's a tough one. <laughs> Tomorrow after the wedding, you have my permission to strangle him. <laughs> In the meantime, give me a minute, will you? Tomorrow. How many times I gotta tell you? Read my lips. You gotta lose weight, not gain it. Why haven't I seen you? Well, this is a vacation leave, you know. Hmm. Paying your alimony. <laughs> but before you go back to Philly, I want you in my confessional. boys tomorrow? No. Uh, they look like good tippers. Probably five dollars in it for you. Why won't they let me see him? I don't know, Bucko. But why don't you go over there and maybe say a prayer for your brother? And tell your mother I expect you here at 10.30 sharp. Teaching him to be an atheist too. Agnostic. Splitting hairs. Oh, the church is good at that. How many angels are there on the head of a pin? If a little Buddha baby dies before he hears a Jesus, does he go to A, limbo, B, purgatory, or C, heaven? And where is God when it hurts? Not in intensive care, not with Emmett. And not with those two boys who died. Do you remember your catechism? Not if I can help it. Every once in a while, Jesus likes to pluck a rose from his garden on earth and bring it home to him. Why doesn't he weed occasionally? Is God the one you're really angry at? Give me a break and quit playing Dr. Joyce Brothers. Uh, I apologize for Bill. But for that. Sorry, don't cut it. Squeeze my hand if you can hear me, Emmett. It's Mom. Come on, move. Come on, just a little bit. Now move, Emmett. Move. Come on, Emmett, move. Please, just move. Move. Got pneumonia. They've got him sitting up. He's what? Dad, are you gonna go by the They've got him what? They've got him sitting up. Oh, praise God. No, would you listen, please? They've got him strapped to a chair to help him breathe, Dad. Except for the pneumonia, there's no difference. Dad, are you gonna go by the hospital? Uh yeah, yeah. Well, could you swing by and pick me up? Well, who's gonna be home when Pike gets out of school? I thought I'd leave him a note and tell him to go to the neighbor's house. Yeah, he can go to the neighbor's. But don't you think he needs family at a time like this? I mean, you said you were going to be there. Why can't you just do what you say you're going to do? I just thought we should all be together today. That's how this all got started. Because you thought without thinking. Nuts. 
look, this is a perfectly good dolly, okay? And those wheels won't even fit your skateboard. I can't afford the right kind. I want to see Emmett. How's the patient? They're transferring me back to the ward, so I thought I'd say goodbye. <laughs> oh, you're real sorry about that, huh? No, no, it's just my luck. How come the night people all weigh 300 pounds? <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe I'll see you up there. I get the feeling that this place has written him off. Nobody knows why, but there's research showing that patients who are surrounded by people who care, you know, if they can sense prayers or love or whatever, that it can make a difference. So you being here is important no matter how it looks. Thanks. You hear that goofball? What do you need, Em? Lousy billboard. Not just me and the folks. Half your damn school's yelling to get in to see you. Blink or something. Come on, don't just drool. Catherine calls three, four times a day for you. Sounding just like she's... I need a phone. I need a phone. Shh. Oh, sh sorry. But can we get a phone in my brother's room? Please. Yeah. Dad. Put Patrick on the line. What? I'm at the hospital. Patrick needs to talk to Emmett. Have you been drinking? Would you just listen for once? Now get him up and get him on the phone. Emmett needs to know we're all pulling for him. In his condition? What are you talking about? Who made you a doctor? Listen, I'm putting this phone to Em's ear and telling him you're getting Patrick. And if you don't get him, then you tell him why. Come on, Patrick. Come on, son. Say hi, Em. This is Patrick. Hi, Em. This is Patrick. Tell him, uh, tell him you're doing good in school. When are you coming home, Em? They won't let me see you because I'm not old enough. Tell him you've been a good boy. I miss you, Em. Everyone's dumping on me because I screwed up the tools. Come on. Come on. What are you telling them? What, you think he wants to hear that? Hello? He's crying. He's crying. He's crying. My man, I am going to get you on your feet. I swear. Emmett, before long, you're going to be snagging line drives. Good as new. Better. I promise.
When I get a sinus headache, the whole house feels it. I feel so bad to see my mom suffer like that. The pain, the pressure, it's hard to describe. She's just not herself. Tylen Olsen. out, dude. This will bring you back. <laughs> the Sonliners got together, and we'd just die if you were not there next spring, like manning a billion. Hey, Em, you look great. I thought he was out of danger now. How come he doesn't move? Oh, well, that'll take a little time. It's gonna take time to get him back into his favorite friends and music and stuff. If Everybody works with him. Well, work in what? You see, he, he, he needs people here constantly. He needs people to read the sports pages to him, to help him with his passive exercises. What's passive what exercise? He needs his limbs and joints flexed and extended so they don't freeze up. See, the hospital, they hardly touch him here. And I was figuring if we upped the effort... Well, didn't Catherine tell you guys I was hoping that you could help me out? Yeah. yeah. Mighty Mouse to save the day! Come on, bro. Nod. Put some action to it. <laughs> One more. Okay. Uh, All right, Carrie, I've got you. You couldn't do it. That's right. One more. One more. Uh, Hold your arms up. Yeah. Oh, good, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Right. Good. Dr. Waterhouse to oncology. Dr. Waterhouse, to oncology. Uh, I'm John Wiley, and we had an appointment with Dr. Lang. Mister. He's English, and when they specialize over there, it's Mister. Come in. Uh, uh, sit down, please. Son. Emmett. Emmett? Mm -hmm. We were hoping that he could be transferred to the rehabilitation unit. You, where the equipment and the, and the personnel are that could help him get back on his feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The chart indicates that he's reached a plateau. A month ago, the chart was going to have him dead. Have you talked to social services? What for? What for? Well, the last notation here, uh, yesterday, uh, recommends that he be transferred to an intermediate care facility as soon as the family, that's you, uh, finds available space in the area. Intermediate care? Convalescent home. What? No, nobody told us that. Well, that's for old people, isn't it? No. Not necessarily. And uh, they have rehabilitation programs. Oh, what's wrong with this one? Well, nothing I trust. But we're part of the hospital. And that makes us rather expensive. I got insurance. And because our approach is strictly medical and our facilities and resources are limited, uh, we have to gear ourselves to those patients who have the most potential for definitive improvement. Well, what you mean is help the ones that need it least. I can cover whatever the insurance doesn't pay, if that's what you want. Well, what I want is a bigger facility. But until then, I have to use what I have and do what's medically best. Now, if you'll excuse me... Look, yeah. we just want you to recommend Emmett for this hospital's program. Now, what's so medically hard about that? I thought I'd just explained that. But won't you even reconsider? Well, yes, I can think about it. In the meantime, talk to social services. 
What are you talking to a doctor that way for? Mister, didn't you hear? Can't you two discuss anything without fighting? That was the runaround, Ma. Don't you get we it? We weren't born yesterday, but we need him on our side. He hasn't even seen him. Because he's not in his department yet. Which makes it even crazier. So it makes sense to go back and scream and shout? And then I don't say a word. And you either. <laughs> That's how you let it out. Yeah, what are you letting out? Let what out? Whatever's in there. What, half a beer? Come on, just try it, okay? Close your eyes and think about what's bothering you. Get really in touch with it. Will you keep them closed? Okay. Now, how do you feel? Warm. Okay. Okay, what else? Nice. Nothing else? Nothing troubling? Well, what do you want me to tell you? I mean, I wanted this to be a great summer, but the big adventure is trying to find a home for my brother so they can force feed him pablum. That's perfect. Okay, that's the frustration we're letting out then. Now, you gotta put some lung power behind it. So you take a deep breath. No, 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 no. From down here, from down here. Okay. Actually, right now, I feel like I'm on this beach with this beautiful girl. Uh-huh. Are you comfortable? I take it we're through with the exercise? No, we're just beginning. Down the hatch. Gotta get big and strong. Oh. Hello. No need to stand. Uh, your friend tells me I have to see what you've been doing night after night. So, you must be Emmett, right? Mr. Lang wants to see if you're ready for the rehab center. Rehabilitation. Not a convalescent home? Well, let's see. Hey, man, this is fantastic. Do you understand? They may move you to a better place. Nod that you understand that, Emmett. He nodded. Did you see? He nodded. Did you see? Feel any pain, I want you to shake your head. All right. Um, well, you've done a decent job of um, getting him to respond to cues, but there's no movement or control of his own. He chews, he swallows. Does he ever initiate communication? Well, sometimes. He, he gets this very tense look on his face. And, and most of the other nurses can see it, too, when he has to go to the bathroom. And if somebody's there to watch him, he won't mess himself. Now, that's muscle control, right? That's initiating communication. That's no more than parroting. No, he's not a parrot. Emmett, lift your arm. The doctor wants you to lift it. Emmett. You better listen to me and lift your arm right now. I'm not fooling around with you. Okay, Emmett, I'm not gonna take you fishing unless you lift your arm up for the doctor.
ready, guy? Here we go. Great Superman, you make it look easy. Oh, Emmett. Now the hard part. Move the feet. Move the feet. You just got up, ma'am. First time. Well, not exactly, Mrs. Riley. We do have a whole transition routine. Bed to chair, chair to toilet, and so on. No, I mean, these are his first real steps. Yes, and we want a few more. Move your feet, dear. This one. Move it. No pain, no gain. <laughs> well, at least you try. Right? If he's up to it, let him take a couple of more steps and then put him down. Time is it? Sometimes a guy needs to sleep in. Yeah, well, I gotta be there for Emmett's routines. Well, he's in good enough hands. Maybe now's the time to start thinking about getting a summer job. Uh, instead of bumming around the hospital. I didn't say that. I just thought maybe you wanted to save to buy a car or something. Rise and shine, pal. Look who's here to see you this morning. Him? Dr. Harris, mind. Emmett? Damn. Frank! Frank! Yes, doctor. Oh, and your staff won't help. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, nurse. Emmett Riley is still in bed. He's messed himself, and nobody has changed him. Not again. That's it. Put the catheter back in. Yeah, over my dead body. Sir, we have evolved our routine with thousands of patients. Did you hear what I said? Nurse, you are witness his rude and threatening manner. One more word, and I'll call security and have you thrown out of here. Come on, Frank. We just want some towels. Do you have any towels so we can clean them up? Stay on the couch. He can sleep on the couch. Uh, then what? I can't stay forever. Just for tonight. Okay, wait, wait. Not the couch. You won't be comfortable. I can stay in my bedroom. So now what?
Coming up, his obsession is sliding down hills. worried sick you're a nurse what's going on here hey leave her out of it i'm asking you a question I... emma needs constant care then why did you take him from it because he's not getting what he needs at the hospital dad he needs his family and he needs his friends working with him 24 hours a day or else he's going to remain a zombie the rest of his life oh, you're a real smart guy you raised hell to get him in there and now you want to set up your own hospital at home <coughs> but what about emmett did you ever give one thought to what's best for him They didn't want to be bothered. Afraid we were gonna sue the bejesus out of him. So uh, Dad just signed this release form, AMA. What's that? Against medical advice. And welcome home, Emmett. <laughs> here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, look, here he is! Oh, here Give me a strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. 
What's it gonna be? Oh, I don't know. Beers around? Yeah, sure. Okay. Has he got ID? You mean my uncle? The face that won their trouble. shop they pay you full wage me yeah well, i know you have your hands full with them but you've got it pretty well organized from what i can see I mean, <laughs> hospital bed in the living room the garage is damn near a gym people in and out like a like clockwork mm. anyway let me know before dinner will you Give me a chance to call somebody else. Now, you're sure I can trust you. I'm bonded, man. That's as good as it gets. I think we can trust them. Yes. Yes. I think we can trust them. <laughs> Just lock up when you're finished. Yes, ma'am.
all here, Polly. Polly want a potato chip? Polly's a Paris man. Oh, you think it cares? Well, it ain't fair to Paris, then. He's stealing their names. Ah, uh, Paris are just mimics. You could call him Babar the Elephant, and it wouldn't know the difference. Right, Donald? Oh, yes, there's a pretty duck. Mm, you see that? The hurry and feeling. Remember Mr. Lang? He didn't think birds had feelings. Come on, Tweety. Give us a cognitive response, and we'll make you a poster parrot for the March of Dimes. <laughs> You ever think about becoming a doctor? Nope. You want to do this for the rest of your life? Are you complaining? That's all right for dumb ox like me, but look at your brother Bill. I don't hear him complaining. Another dumb ox. Oh, jeez. All right, so he's a union carpenter. Good wages. But who hires union anymore? I mean, he's laid off more than he's on. I told him, go to school. I said, go to school. Look, Dad, you asked me to come help you today. I didn't know how to take a lecture, too. Just think it out loud, that's all. Help me to understand, will you? It's simple. As soon as Emmett's better, I'm out of here, period. Now, you say it's crazy to want to go to sea. Fine, OK. I said it was hard and lonely. Yeah, whatever. It's what I want. Why don't you just say, fine, bless you, son. Go for it. When I know this better. real good. Oh, no, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Why didn't you see that? I didn't see it. Why didn't you see it? You didn't see it. You didn't see it. We've got to replace this whole section of carpet. It's my cigarettes. Cigarettes. <sighs> Was. Dad, how many packs of smokes do you have? What? How many packs of smokes? One, why? You squashed the poor damn bird. But how did they get out? I told you not to play with them. But I, I didn't open the door. Screwing around in an old cage, poking and pulling, not listening. That's what it leads to. No, 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 no. He must have been sick, Dad. He got out and had a, a heart attack. A heart attack? Yeah. I mean, why else would he let us throw carpet over him? Is that what you're going to tell her? He had a heart attack? Ha, 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 ha. 
I could have kissed my behind when I heard that first. Because <laughs> until then, all I could all I could think of was Frank's boot coming down. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and that old lady's gonna come back. And sooner or later, there's gonna be this telltale canary juice oozing through the blinds. <laughs> oh, you should have seen that panic. Oh. He panic. Oh yeah. Now get this. Frank was so panicked, he wanted to say the bird had a heart attack so that maybe he would get him off the hook. It was plausible. I didn't need to get off the hook. Oh, plausible. Dr. Doolittle speaks. Well, anyway, somebody was to blame for opening that cage. I wonder who that was. Huh? Hey, come on. Why blame me for an accident? Accident on purpose? Who cares? Hey, you're interrupting a good story. Now, we got a lump. We got no bird. We blame. Got... You're the one that said blame. All right, hey, I'm sorry. I take it back. What's the echo? Because you do blame me, don't you? Well, I don't blame you for opening the cage. You blame me, family. Hey, I don't know. Let's drop it. It's just a story about a bird. No big deal. No, it's a real big deal. I gave him the keys, right? It was my car. Isn't that what you think? No. My life. My choice. Yeah, Em, you're a real nice guy, but we all know that I ducked off to have a good time. So why don't you just say it? All right, I'll say it. You should have been there, yeah. Drop it, both of you. Yeah, and you think it too, don't you? you... Teresa, would you help me? No, no, no. Stick around, Therese. It's fun at the Riley's tonight. Mom, you asked Dad to go to the grocery store, and he didn't. Isn't that the you truth? Do... Frank, I don't think this is the truth. That's right, Mom. You don't think. Enough. Don't you dare sass your mother. Why not, Dad? Why can't we speak our minds in this damn house? <laughs> yeah, hey, Mom, you married him. Does he ever let you speak your mind? Dad, Bill doesn't have to work in Philly, and Susan doesn't have to fly out of LaGuardia. And if Emmett had a choice, he would have been out of here years ago. We didn't have a guest. I think I'd kill you. You already have, you dumb ox! Barbara! I have to go home. You see, I figured it out. He must feel so screwed up inside that he's got to try to make us be something we can't be. And that's what makes us crazy. You're just like him. So this thing comes in the mail. It's a, it's a big plan. It's going to save me all this money over AT&T if I just uh, do this, try this, and spend that. Well, as you know, I've been meaning to get rid of everything in my life that's easy, like uh, running water, right? Well, why not? Why not just carry? You should sleep. I don't think I'd drive my kids away, do you? You're a little hard on them, yes. Well, you asked me a question. Bill's in Philadelphia because Bill wants to be in Philadelphia. Well, he doesn't have to be perfect and set the world on fire. I didn't drive Bill away. Susie hasn't gone anywhere either, really. Not really. After what Frank said to you, that just about killed it for me. But he said it to me. Nobody talks to my honey that way. John. That's not what's got you bothered. Oh, Patrick ain't running off. And Emmett, by God. He's gonna make it. Who would 
you've ever thought of. Frank thought it. I defend him. I expect you to defend your children. Our children. Damn kid yells at you. Throws away his scholarship. All my life, just one of them. On my hands and knees, hoping just one of them, then Frank. I could actually see him stepping on my back and then get up, boost him to my shoulders, and there he'd stand tall as could be. But he doesn't want to be there, does he? Ah, he's always taking his side. No, I'm just taking it. Like Frank, with pain. Don't you remember when he was a baby? All he had to do was whimper. Just a little bit and you'd get all worried and want to know if he was okay. Yeah, well, he's grown up now, honey. he? will have to cuss out his old man. Because he hurts. And he still needs a father. Well, I haven't gone anywhere. I got cussed out of my own house. Yes, because he needs a father who doesn't keep score. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I'll be right back. That was great. Yeah. Okay, kids, have a great big spider. Have a great big spider. You know, if you answer the phone, I could apologize. Apology accepted. We'll have to go back to work. Can we talk later? Yeah. Killing me softly with his Thank you. 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 Can't you leave it alone for even just a little bit? And we should be glad Em introduced us. You just bothered by all that junk last night, right? Did it sink in? What I said about you and your dad? Yeah, sure, I'm a little like him. They call it genetics, you and know? This is way more than genetics. <laughs> Listen, I just called him on blaming me for Emmett. But I shouldn't have yelled at my mom, and it doesn't change a thing, all of us yelling at each other. You're right. So I'm sorry you had to hear it. What about Emmett? Oh, he's heard me blow my stack enough times. Well, that's not what I mean. I mean, if you do get him walking again on his own, what then? Baseball? Yeah. The sky's the limit. But what if he can't run fast enough for you? Or what if, what if this is as far as he can go? Because even if he gets better, that still leaves you at square one, just like your dad, never thinking that it's good enough. Oh, so I've got a problem because I want my brother to get better. No. We've got a problem. Well, that's a jump. So why don't we go do some deep breathing and work it out, huh? What we need to do is just think. <laughs> this feels like a bye. I don't know. Well, I don't know either, so why don't you help me out? I just don't know if I want to go bowling with you and see you fight. Or sit at your table and see you fight. 
Or if Emma's not good enough for you because you're not good enough for yourself. I mean, I need to figure out how I'm going to fit into that. Yeah, I am. I think this is going to work just great. Come on, boy. There you go, pal. All right. Oh, that's good. That's good, Em. Use your elbows more. Atta boy. Use your neck. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Come on. You can do it now. You can do it. It's great. You're doing it, Em. You're doing it by yourself. See? You're doing it. Did I tell you to do it? You're doing it. This is great, Em. You're doing it. You made it, pal. You made it, pal. You made it. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his son. Lord, I am to receive you. May the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ.
hell are you doing? You hate me that much? Everything I stand for will at least have a little respect for the church, your family. Your brother made it, and you didn't give him the courtesy of being Made there. it! Made it, Dad! Come on, he walks like he's a crippled spider. That's as good as he's ever gonna get! Oh, my God. Oh, God, I failed. I failed. You... got a chance at life because of you. Then why do I feel so sick inside? Why do I keep wanting him to be something else? Why? <laughs> why did I ever give him my keys? Son, I, uh... I'm sorry. No, it's a uh, hell. It's... I know you feel. <sighs> I said it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I owe you an apology, too. All right? I'm sorry. About the other night. And for right now, about Emmett, I, I don't want to run down what he's accomplished. I know, I know. It's just... I don't know. Maybe it's time for me to get on with my own life now. I've been thinking. First Marines, right? Well, I know some people. And I can help you get an able seaman's card. I mean, not that I want to interfere. Besides, maybe I've had my year at sea, huh? Well, I haven't lost hope of Boston College. Not necessarily for you. I'm, I mean, Patrick, if that's what he wants. I don't know how to change my spots overnight. I know. I know. Deep breathing doesn't do a damn bit of good. <laughs> uh, we should go fishing, you know, sometime. Talk this out. OK, all right. to talk about is there. I love you, son.
but that was then, and this is now. The new Ford Crown Victoria. Victor Torres is the man who rights the wrongs in Urban Angels later tonight on Crime Time after Prime Time. Thanks for being with CBS. Now get ready for your local news. Thank you.